Good afternoon, CMPC family. This Sunday we continue our study from Colossians, finding our identity in Christ. We've come to the 15th verse of the third chapter, and we're going to uh, spend time looking at a very timely subject, peace in a troubled world. Given all that's going on around us in this world, how do we let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts? Where, uh, where does it come from? What does it do? These are the kinds of questions we're going to look at this Sunday. As we've been doing since the 1st of May, we will meet in the Covenant Life Center for services at 8.30 and 11. Again, let me encourage us to keep social distancing as part of our practices. And also, if you'd prefer to sit upstairs, we have the door on the walking track that's opposite the kitchen open. You're welcome to sit up there and not be around so many people. For any who are at risk, those who are sick, and those who are still just uncomfortable being around a large crowd, we uh, will look forward to having you worship with us online. Begin at 8.30 or any time thereafter. Also, don't forget the online Sunday School class on Persevering that follows at 10 a.m. Parents, you may want to remember that on July 5th, we'll offer uh, Children's Church and Nursery for the small children. If you have some questions about that or you have any suggestions, uh, please contact Mike Owens. The hymns we sing this week will all uh, speak about peace. We're going to gather with Our God Reigns, which is taken from Isaiah 52, 7. Hymn of Praise will be a 21st century favorite here at the church, Come People of the Risen King by the Getty Townend team. Uh, then for our uh, hymn of testimony, we're going back to the same year the church was planted, 1874, and singing Like a River Glorious. Then we'll respond to God's word with a hymn written the previous year, 1873, but one of the classic hymns of, about peace, about contentment, about trust and faith, and that is, It is Well With My Soul. 2020's not been a year of peace in so many ways, but we are blessed to have the peace of Christ, God's perfect peace peace that passes all human understanding. It's, it's not like the world's peace. It comes from, from God himself. It is, in fact, Jesus himself. Uh, please continue to pray. Pray for us as a church as we minister to our broken world and nation that so desperately needs peace. Pray for God to revive his church. Pray for the leadership of our nation on every level. Pray for God to heal our land. See you this Sunday.